Hello friends, I am Trilogy and I hope you are safe and healthy. Today we will discuss how to set up Laravel on your production environment. So, though it's a common topic, but some developer, I have seen some developer struggling to install Laravel on production so due to some memory issues and some directory permission issues. So, without any further delay, let's move forward. So let's connect to your server through SSH, SSH uh, the dem pm file. So uh, Ubuntu at the rate your IP. Enter. After that, yes, it will connect to your server. So here is my server is AWS EC2. So now we will install, uh, sorry, update uh, the server APT. So after that, we will install Apache 2. So here, let me clear it. APT install Apache 2. So this is needed for your Laravel. So first is Apache 2, then we will install PHP, the latest version, and some libraries to require for the Laravel. So this I have already. Uh, yes, this, this, these are the uh, libraries needed. So here is PHP. Once PHP installation done, so we will install then composer so that uh, we can install laravel uh, using the composer so let's clear it so here you can see this is the laravel official site so these are the extensions we have installed so now we will install the composer so for that apt install composer yes done so now let me clear it and let's go to the uh, install laravel installer through the composer and it will, it will be in global so yes it's done now so next is we uh, let let me go through it uh, the official site you can create a laravel blog this is simple and using under uh, the composer command also so cd so let's go to the your uh, root folder where your application will run so composer create project and this is you can change your application name so my case is uh, let me change new app yes so enter so here uh, once one thing will happen like laravel will install then your composer all composer uh, dependencies uh, will uh, download it here so it's now it's the uh, laravel is downloaded it is killed that means your composer dependency uh, is not installed but still your application uh, folder is uh, created uh, yes ls so these are the folders everything is needed is uh, everything is installed package or json is there you can install your uh, packages uh, later so let me check is it working or not so go to the public issue is there so let me uh, just install uh, this uh, uh, the storage file we have to give the permission so this is important so so that it, it laravel can access your uh, share file so after that you just uh, enable the, your rewrite so that uh, so for the command is a2 n mod rewrite so that your htaccess file is uh, rewritable so after that just re uh, restart your server so after that we will again install these uh, packages whatever is needed for that actually it, is, it has been killed because your uh, memory is very less memory means your ram is very less so, so we have to create one swap uh, memory so swap file so for that command is like f allocate for so before that you have to go to your ubuntu uh, directory so it will be the right place to place your swap file so that it will it can be help while your uh, uh, downloading all the uh, dependencies file for, for laravel so for that command is i am writing f allocate minus l so I'm uh, allowing means uh, giving one GB for swap file. So it will help uh, 
like it will add while uh, running your uh, application or an, uh, downloading on the huge files okay so for that we have to give permission 6000 so swap file ch mode this is the command for to give the permission in ubuntu so let's create uh, like swap file for that command is mk swap the make swap you can say yes so enable the swap file the command is like uh, swap on swap file that is the file name right so this is i am making it uh, temporary so that you can install your laravel properly so here it is swap file is done now so now you can install your uh, all the dependencies for the laravel means the ESO vendor you can say so for that command is composer install so this process is is for me because my uh, ram is 1 gb i have taken the free tire of ubuntu so sorry so we have to go here so the folder structure where your app is there uh, composer the composer.json is not available in ubuntu folder right so let's go there cd uh, bad dub dub html new app yes now you can install your composer your simple the command is composer install so here uh, actually i am using everything in uh, ec2 amazon ec2 server so that's a ubuntu server i am using so for that it it might not need your uh, production environment because you uh, have uh, more than uh, 1 gb ram so here is i'm using free tire of ec2 so that's why it's 1 gb so I, I have added the swap file it this process is might not needed for you but still if you have any uh, like issue on that you can check log file so that you can get uh, the get the exact information what is the uh, issue so th so that you can resolve so for me it was the issue so that's why i am adding a swap file so this is uh, now you uh, see is done so let me check the same url so copy the ip this slash here you just you have to add your uh, uh, you can say your configuration file for your uh, domain so that it will point to the particular uh, directory so no need to write new app public okay so here is showing no application encryption key has been specified so you have to do that this command php artisan key generate so let me yes enter application key set successfully so that done your laravel interaction uh, installation is complete now Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. So please like, share and comment and subscribe. Thank you so much.